is incredibly important to feel comfortable using the workspace that you're writing in. That is why we wanted to make it as easy as possible to customize your workspace and your display to your heart's content. In this video, we'll be going over a few of the different ways that you can customize how your workspace looks, including rearranging your icons, rearranging your widgets, and going over some useful configuration ideas for your layout. So let's get started with dragging and dropping your icons. When using our simplified layout, all of your icons will be on the left-hand side of your screen. Clicking on an icon will reveal its widgets. We can see here, when we hover over this keyboard icon, it tells us that this contains the line types and tools widgets. We can tell that a widget is here by looking at this darker shade of blue tab that says line types or tools. If we don't want these icons in this order, we can just simply click and hold and drag them to rearrange. Once you have your widgets open, you can also rearrange these by clicking and holding on the dark blue header. Once you have this clicked and held, simply dragging it a little bit should open up the areas you're able to drag it to. If you'd like to remove it, you can drop it in this trash can, or you can move it over here to the right side if you prefer a more stereo experience. Or you can click and hold and move it up into what we call the subheader. And this will live above the script at all times. To move things from the subheader, Simply look for the ridged moving mark here, click and hold, and we can put it right back where we found it. So we notice the icon has now changed because our tools widget is on top and line types are on bottom. If you have multiple widgets within an icon here, it will list the first one first. So the line types and tools icon has now become the tools and line types icon. If that gets confusing for you, you can always reset your layout by going to the Customize Settings cog and hitting Reset on your layout. And so now we see we have the Line Types and Tools icon back, with Line Type widget on top, and Tool widget on bottom. Here are just a couple of useful configuration ideas that we've seen writers have a ton of success with. Hopefully this can get your creativity going and inspire you to think of your other configurations. Our first tip is for people who prefer to use the line type widget to change the line types as opposed to our keyboard shortcuts. We always recommend for people like this to rearrange their line type widget into the subheader. This will make it feel a lot more like the classic mode if you're an older user, or if you just want quick access to your line types. This is an easy way to make sure they're always there. So if we need to turn something into a shot, we simply just click the line, click shot, and it's done. This next step is really handy if you ever find yourself using the cards widget here on the side. So instead of having to click on this icon to get to the cards while still having the script open every time, what we can recommend doing is click and drag the cards widget over to the right hand side, drop it in, and then you can always have it here open on the right. This will then turn the cards and private pad icon into just a private pad for you to leave notes. We can then go to some doc information if we need to edit our title, share from here, or just use our comments and chat while always leaving our cards open and always having our line types accessible. This can be especially handy once your script gets a little bit longer, so you can easily scroll down and navigate to your scenes by using the cards quickly and efficiently. Hopefully this inspires you to create some configurations of your own, and if you ever need to return back to your default layout to get a clean slate and start again, you can just click on the layouts cog here in the corner and hit reset. 